They are sitting on top of the world's wealth, which was put into a secret account, and it has more gold than anybody knows about. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, allow me to just greet uh, VP Sara, uh, former President GMA, uh, House Speaker Martin Romaldes, members of the cabinet that are here uh, sending us off and the other members who are joining us for uh, this trip to Davos. Uh, of course, uh, uh, it will not be complete without my greeting of our First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos. And uh, I think uh, the Pasay District represented, yes, of course, <laughs> and um, our good mayor, Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano, uh, AF Chief of Staff Andy Santino, and PMP Chief uh, Juna Surin, Philippine Coast Guard Admiral Artemio Abu, and fellow members in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you uh, for seeing me off today as I and our economic team depart for Davos, Switzerland to take part in the 2023 annual meeting of the World Economic Forum. I look forward to my inaugural participation to the WEF in Davos as I am joined by the Philippine delegation composed of government officials and business leaders on the kind invitation of Professor Klaus Schwab founder and chair emeritus of the World Economic Forum, 
whom I had occasion to meet in person at the sidelines of both the ASEAN and APEC meetings in Phnom Penh and Bangkok, respectively, in November of last year. This is the first in-person meeting of the World Economic Forum since 2020. And before the world became, before the world came to a standstill because of the pandemic. As such, our theme of cooperation in a fragmented world is quite apropos. We will highlight the steps the Philippines is taking to mend the fissures of such fragmentation, especially in our country, but certainly in partnership with our friends, allies, and partners around the world. Related to this is the need to collectively bolster and reinforce our post-pandemic economic recovery efforts by addressing the challenges we face posed by rising food prices, the impact of conflict in other parts of the world, and the continuing existential threat posed by climate change. I have resolved to take this opportunity to exchange views on such pressing issues with other government leaders, policymakers, business executives, and entrepreneurs, civic society advocates, and academic experts. The Philippines is also being given a unique opportunity to highlight the significant economic gains we have achieved in the last part of the year, as attested to by upward growth projections of the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. The World Economic Forum is hosting a country strategy dialogue for us where we are given the opportunity to promote the Philippines as leader and driver of growth and the gateway to the Asia-Pacific region, one that is open for business and we're ready to complement regional and global expansion plans of both foreign and Philippine-based enterprises anchored on the competent and well-educated Filipino workers, the managers and professionals. I will draw attention to our efforts at building resilient infrastructure that bolsters our effort to reinforce robust and resilient supply chains, ensures food security, including critical interlinkages with health and, health and nutrition, while furthering climate-friendly, clean and green energy to power the Philippine economy. Moreover, I will share our experience as a model for managing with our global partners the disruptive and transformative impact of COVID. I intend to share our efforts in saving both lives and livelihoods, as well as the people-centered next steps that we are taking to ensure that we are ready to meet the lingering effects of the pandemic and address the occurrence of the possible next one. I look forward to meeting with various government and business leaders at the World Economic Forum and strengthen our partnerships in the years to come. Thank you all and uh, mabuhay po kayong lahat and good morning to you all. Thank you.